we need to talk about the general GRE, the GRE test that people take to go to graduate school here in the US. So I received an email regarding this test and in this video, I'm going to briefly read the email and we're going to discuss this test and how you can prepare for this test and how you can do well. And I can give you some examples of uh, situations of people who have scored certain scores on these tests so you can kind of see maybe where you think you'll fall compared to um, these people. So first, let me just start with the email. The person's name is Dylan and the subject is GRE General Test Advice. Hi, my name is Dylan and I absolutely love your videos and I watch them daily. I'm applying for financial engineering and quant finance master's programs and I am currently studying for the GRE General Test. The test is really difficult for me even though I have taken all the general math major courses in undergrad. Calc 3, differential equations, linear algebra stats. I enjoy math and love the subject, but when it comes to the GRE, it is very basic, but the wording and logic behind it is so difficult for me to grasp. I want to go about solving all the problems mathematically, but unfortunately, every online course is all about shortcuts and whatnot. Do you have any advice for someone with a math background really struggling on a simple test like the GRE general test? Thanks. So he's emphasizing general tests. So he's not talking about the subject test. So because for the GRE math subject test, um, they make books like this one uh, that you can buy, but that's for the subject test. So for the general GRE, it's actually exactly the same. You can buy a book uh, probably by the same company. I'll leave a link in the description to one and you basically just go over that book and you study that book and you try to understand their solution methods and their tricks because um, yeah, they will teach you like little shortcuts and stuff so that you can answer the questions as fast as possible because that's the goal because it's timed, right? So you also have an English portion for that test. Uh, I did pretty well on the math portion. I did really well. And then uh, I did okay on the English portion. I didn't do well. Um, I have a friend who um, didn't do so hot on the math portion, but did really well on the English portion, right? So she did really well. And then I have a friend who did bad on both. So different experiences, right? So um, I did better on the math. I had a friend who did better on the English, and then I had a friend who did bad on both. So it could go either way on the test. You could not do well, but honestly, if you study one of these books, you're probably gonna do pretty well. None of these people I'm talking about studied at all uh, for the test, by the way. So uh, I did study for the test and I did decent on both. So yeah, you could do it. Uh, that's my advice, Dylan, get one of those books um, because yeah, they'll really help you. And I'll leave a link in the description to one, check it out. And I think those books, they make a difference. It'll help you. Good luck.